Beautiful, majestic Virginia Key Beach Park with the city of Miami skyline as its backdrop. What a story it has to tell. This is little Carla Cody with her mom at Virginia Key Beach in the 60s. And this is Carla Cody today with her son. It means everything to me. It's where I grew up. It's where I live my life. It's probably something that I can say is this, one of the snapshots in my childhood. So it's where the innocence was for most of us as children. In fact, the concession stand where young Carla enjoyed this hot dog still stands today. These are the beaches where she and so many others fell in love with nature, the sun, the environment. It's my favorite part of my childhood memories. Renee Piggy started coming here in the 50s when she was, well, when she was this big. She tells her niece Lauren today about the magical, famous mini train. She remembers a moment at camp when the train went through the love tunnel. The boy that I liked when I was about seven or eight years old, snuck a kiss when we went through the cave. <laughs> Virginia Key Beach Park isn't just nostalgic, it's historic. During segregation, people of color had nowhere to go and recreate on the coast. In 1945, a wade-in at Hallover Beach brought attention to the issue. So the commission elected to make Virginia Key Beach the colored only beach for South Florida. It's a civic activism success story. People fighting for an injustice and winning. This designated beach became a sanctuary for some, one they could only get to by boat until the causeway was built in 1947. One of the big draws that still stands today, the famous historic carousel. It was our one kind of oasis. Today, the stories continue. The park was shut down for 26 years in disrepair from 1982 to 2008. It reopened after Althea Range and others formed a task force to preserve and repair the historic property. Her grandson, now a trustee, still focused on the mission. In order to, to, to get things done in this day and age, you have to collaborate. The trust has partnerships with organizations and schools like Mast Academy. It's the it best place to see uh, natural wildlife, uh, to see wildlife here on the island. The partnership with FIU includes archiving historic park images and recordings. Volunteer group Tree Mendis Miami has planted more than 14,000 trees and plants. Our example of thinking globally and acting locally. The park is used for races and other recreational activities, for events, and of course, for family beach days. The Alvarez family's been coming here for more than a decade. It's fun. All those enjoying the park today, looking forward to its future. Preserving the legacy of the park, keeping the natural ecosystem in place, and look at these plans for a beautiful, state-of-the-art museum on stilts. That'll sit right at the entrance of the park, near where this sandcastle sits now. What we're doing here really is preserving a piece of history so that really all groups, all communities get the totality of South Florida's history. Add to that discussions of a beach pavilion conference space for groups to meet, all while making sure the grounds and the history remain intact. Make sure that the future generations can experience, understand, educate themselves, um, and be better for it um, because we're here. And hope children today will have the same snapshot memories that I have as a child. It is our history and everybody needs their history. You don't know where you're going unless you know where you came from. The 82-acre historic Virginia Key Beach Park preserving its history, its natural habitat, and the unique story of this tropical paradise.